Dear friends, welcome to another video. Today we are going to build this impressive plot clock. It is an Arduino powered device that writes the time using a whiteboard marker. Without any further delay, let's get started. Hey guys, I am Nick and welcome to Educate TV, a channel that is all about do-it-yourself electronics projects with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, ESP8266 and other popular ports. Today we are going to build this plot clock, a device that does not use a display to tell the time, but it writes the time using a whiteboard marker. Let's see it in action. Every minute it erases the previous time so it has a clear surface to write on and then it writes the current time with the marker. Impressive, isn't it? The brains of this project is an Arduino Uno. I am also using a DS3231 real-time clock module in order to keep the time. Let's now see how to build this project. I discovered this plot clock kit on banggood.com a few weeks ago. It costs around $34 and banggood.com sent me a sample unit in order to make a video about it. So the parts you are going to need in order to build this project are these, the plot clock kit and a DS3231 real-time clock module which is not included in the kit. You can find links for all the parts in the description of the video. The kit contains the following parts, the plastic parts of the clock, three 9G servos, an Arduino Uno board, an expansion shield, a USB cable, some screws and a marker. Unfortunately, it does not contain any assembly instructions and while I was searching to find some online, I discovered that this kit is based on an open source project that was published on Thinkinverse. Amazing stuff! So, if you own a 3D printer, you can 3D print the parts and build your own plot clock easily. You can find a link for the project in the description of the video. The easiest way to build this kit is by studying this 3D model that comes with the kit. Let's start. I have numbered all the parts according to this leaflet and I start by the parts with numbers 1, 2 and 3. I attach them together like this and I glue them in place. I also use this screw to hold the parts together. The next step is to attach this pen holder. Next I attach this servo motor using some small screws. The next step is to attach the part with the number 8 to the servo motor. Be sure it can make this movement before proceeding. We then move on to the other two servos. We attach them like this. Be careful, the right one needs part number 6 as well. After this we have to connect the rear part with the front part using a screw. We also attach part number 9 like this. After this we attach the two arms to the rear servos and we won't move on for a while. It is now time to connect the Arduino and test the servos using a calibration software. We connect the seal to the Arduino Uno and we then connect the servos. We connect the lift servo, this one, to digital pin 2. The servos connect this way. The brown wire is ground, the red is VCC and the orange one is the signal pin. The left servo goes to digital pin 3 and the right one to digital pin 4. We then connect the real-time clock. VCC goes to Arduino 5 volts, ground goes to Arduino ground, SCL goes to analog pin 4 and SDA goes to analog pin 5. We then have to load the code from the Thingiverse Plot Clock project. I will share the link for the code in the description below. In order the code to compile, you need two libraries. You need the time library and the DS1307 library, which also works with the DS3231 real-time clock we are using. Links for both libraries can be found in the description of the video. The code contains a calibration part which is essential in order the project to work. Load the code and watch the arms to move. They have to make a movement like this. Each arm must make a 9 degrees movement. If the arms does not move like this, change these values here or attach the arms to different positions until the arms make this movement. Now that the arms move the right way, we have to attach the last parts to them. Attach them like this and the project is ready. Don't put the marker on yet, we have to test that everything is working as expected. 
comment line 25 of the code and uncomment line 26. Now the program is out of the calibration mode and it will try to write the time. Watch the arm's movement and see if it tries to write on the right place. If it is too high or too low, change the position of the lift servo arm. If it tries to write away from the front face, repeat the calibration procedure of the rear arms. Put the marker on and watch the arm to write the time on the surface. If the time is not correct, you have to set the time to the real-time clock module. Go to File Examples DS1307RTC and load the set time sketch. It will automatically set the time to the real-time clock using your computer's time. That's it, our plot clock is ready. It writes the time and it updates it every minute. It is a very fun project to watch and to build. I had a great time building it and I think it will be fun to alter the code in order the clock to write the temperature instead of the time. I will definitely look into it soon and I will post an update when ready. I would love to hear your opinion about this plot clock project. Do you plan to make any alterations to it? Please post your comments in the comment section below. Thanks. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribed. In this channel, I post videos about do-it-yourself projects every Saturday. I love making things and I believe that anyone can make things, anyone can become a maker. That's why I created this channel in order to share my knowledge with the community and learn from the community. I hope you will join us. Until next Saturday, watch, learn, build.